This sound file contains the spoken version of the Wikipedia article on civil air transport. The material was recorded on November 28, 2017. Civil air transport from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Civil air transport was a nationalist Chinese airline later owned by the CIA that supported United States covert operations throughout East and Southeast Asia. During the Cold War, missions consisted of assistance to, quote, free world, unquote, allies, according to the Mutual Defense Assistance Act of 1949. Section 1, Origins. CAT was created by Claire Chenault and Whitting Willauer in 1946 as Chinese National Relief and Rehabilitation Administration Air Transport. Using surplus World War II aircraft, such as C-47 Dakota and the C-46 Commando, CAT airlifted supplies and food into war-ravaged China. It was soon pressed into service to support Chiang Kai-shek and his Kuomintang forces in the civil war between them and the communists under Mao Zedong. Many of its first pilots were veterans of Chenault's World War II combat groups, popularly known as the Flying Tigers. By 1950, following the defeat of Chiang's forces and their retreat to Taiwan, the airline faced financial difficulties. The CIA formed a private Delaware corporation called Airedale Corporation, which formed a subsidiary called CAT Incorporated. The subsidiary corporation purchased nominal shares of the civil air transport. CAT maintained a civilian appearance by flying scheduled passenger flights while simultaneously using other aircraft in its fleet to fly covert operations. With the spread of communism throughout Southeast Asia, CAT's mission changed. Section 2. Military Operations Chinese Civil War During the Chinese Civil War, under contract with the Chinese Nationalist Government and later the Central Intelligence Agency, CAT flew supplies and ammunition into China to assist Kuomintang forces on the Chinese mainland, primarily using C-46 and C-46 aircraft. With the defeat of Kuomintang in 1949, CAT helped to evacuate thousands of Chinese to Taiwan. Korean War During the Korean War, CAT airlifted thousands of tons of war materials to supply United States military operations, including support of Kuomintang holdouts based in Burma. On November 29, 1952, a CAT C-47 left Seoul on a mission to collect an anti-communist Chinese agent in the foothills of northeastern China using a, quote, pole and line, unquote, technique. The mission was apparently compromised and Chinese forces were waiting for them. Approaching low over the ground, it was set upon by small arms fire and crash landed near the town of Antu in China's Jilin province. The pilots Robert Snotty and Norman Schwartz were killed during the crash and subsequent fire and were buried nearby. The two CIA officers, John T. Downey and Richard G. Fekto, survived and were immediately taken prisoner by Chinese forces who were waiting for the flight. Downey and Fekto were held by China and regularly interrogated for nearly 20 years. Fekto was released unexpectedly following Nixon's visit to China in 1972, but Downey was released only after Washington publicly acknowledged their spy mission in 1973. At the time, the families of the pilots were told in order to keep the CIA's covert actions in China secret that they had crashed into the Sea of Japan on a routine flight to Tokyo. In 2001, China allowed the U.S. Defense Department's Prisoner of War and Missing in Action Office to conduct a recovery effort for the bodies of the pilots. In 2005, the POW-MIA office announced that it identified the remains of Robert Sinati using DNA analysis. Schwartz remains have not been successfully recovered. The 1952-1953 edition of Jane's All the World's Aircraft lists the head office address as Suite 309, Cass Building, 711, 14th Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C., with the footnote that the company had re-registered in the U.S. The president is given as Whitting Willauer, and the fleet, which consisted of 23 Curtis C-46 Commando and four Douglas DC-3 aircraft. First Indochina War CAT transported supplies and troops for French operations during the First Indochina War as early as Operation Castor in November 1953. CAT assisted the French government at various times during its Indochina Wars, flying supplies and equipment into Hanoi's Gia Lam Airport and other fields using C-46 and C-47 transport planes. At the Battle of Dien Bien Phu, CAT supplied the French garrison by parachuting troops and supplies 
with covert U.S. Air Force C-119 inscribed with French Air Force insignia. In February 2005, seven surviving CAT pilots out of the 37 involved in the battle received the honorific title of Legion of Honor during a special ceremony at the French Embassy in Washington. Two CAT pilots, James B. McGovern Jr. and Wallace Buford, were killed in action during the siege of Dien Bien Phu in May 1954. They were the very first American casualties of the upcoming Vietnam War. The 1956-1957 edition of James' All the World's Aircraft lists the head office address as 46 Chung Shan Road, North, 2nd Section, Taipei, Taiwan. The president and general manager is given as Hugh L. Grundy, with C.J. Rosbert listed as the vice president and assistant general manager. The fleet is listed as 2 Douglas DC-4, 22 Curtis Commando, 2 Douglas DC-3, 3 Douglas C-47, and 2 Convair Catalina. In the 1958-1959 edition of Jane's, the last year in which the quote airlines of the world unquote section was carried, the home office address in Taiwan remained the same, but no company officers are listed. The fleet is given as 3 Douglas DC-4, 25 Curtis C-46, 5 Douglas DC-3, 2 Convair Catalina, with 2 Douglas DC-6B on order. PRRI slash Promesta Movement in Indonesia In 1958, Time reported that 20 CAT aircraft were supplying the PRRI slash Promesta Movement against President Sukarno's government of Indonesia, which the Eisenhower administration feared had communist sympathies. In April 1958, two CAT pilots flew combat missions for Permesta's Engatan Udara Revolutioner, or Revolutionary Air Force. William H. Beale Jr. and Alan Pope flew CIA Douglas B-26 invaders for the Revolutionary Air Force. In May, Beale withdrew from the operation, by which time a third CAT pilot, Connie W. Sigrist, had joined flying a CIA consolidated PBY Catalina. The CIA directed Beale and Pope to target not only Indonesian armed forces, but also unarmed foreign merchant ships in order to frighten overseas trade away from Indonesian waters, thereby weakening the Indonesian economy and undermining Sukarno's government. On April 28, 1958, Beale attacked the Royal Dutch Shell Terminal at Balak Papan in East Kalimantan, sinking the British tanker MV San Flaviano while Pope off the port of Dongola near Palu in central Sulawesi sank merchant ships from Greece, Italy, and Panama. On May 18th, west of Ambon Island, Pope attacked one of a pair of Indonesian merchant ships that were carrying government troops for a counteroffensive against Permesta. An Indonesian Air Force P-51 and anti-aircraft fire from the ships shot down the B-26, and Pope and his Indonesian radio operator were captured. The CIA had ordered the CAT pilots to fly, quote, sterile, unquote, i.e., with no documents that could either identify them or link them with the U.S. government. However, Pope was carrying about 30 documents, including his detailed flight log, secret orders for temporary deployment in Indonesia, military separation file, and CAT identity card. Pope's capture with these documents immediately exposed the level of CIA support for the Permesta Rebellion. Embarrassed, the Eisenhower administration quickly ended CIA support for Permesta and withdrew its agents and remaining aircraft from the Revolutionary Air Force. Early in 1960, an Indonesian military court tried Pope. In April, it convicted him and he was sentenced to death. However, in 1962, Robert Kennedy negotiated with President Sukarno, and in August that year, the Indonesian authorities released Pope and returned him to the USA. Vietnam War in 1959, it was reorganized as Air America, which supported covert operations throughout Indochina during the Vietnam War, particularly in Laos. For further information, see the article on Air America. Post-Vietnam War After pulling out of South Vietnam in 1975, there was an attempt to keep a company presence in Thailand. After this fell through, Air America officially disbanded on June 30, 1976. Section 3. Civil Operations CAT started to operate scheduled passenger services beginning with international flights to Hong Kong, then to Japan, Korea, the Philippines, and Thailand, as well as domestic routes within Taiwan. The granddaughter of Sun Yat-sen, Nora Sun, became the youngest flight attendant to work for CAT. 
The first flights were carried out with C-46, then C-54 Skymaster aircraft. In 1958, CAT inaugurated DC-6B services. In 1961, CAT started to operate a Combair 880M, becoming the first airline to operate pure jet scheduled passenger services on regional routes in the Far East. The Convair 880M was replaced by a Boeing 727 in January 1968. On February 16, 1968, the 727 flying from Hong Kong to Taipei crashed near Lingkau in northern Taiwan, ending 23 years of operations. The remnants of the cargo operation became Flying Tiger. Flying Tiger International merged to FedEx Incorporated. Section 4 Accidents and Incidents October 17, 1947, a Douglas DC-3 crashed near Hopi Air Force Base, killing the three crew. June 19, 1948, a Curtis C-46 X-Ray Tango-44 was damaged beyond repair on landing at Beijing. July 29, 1948, a Curtis C-46 Delta X-Ray Tango-822 crashed at Qingdao Airport after reportedly entering a spin at 100 meters after takeoff killing all 19 aboard. December 21, 1948. A Douglas C-54B November 8324 Charlie crashed on Basalt Island while attempting to descend in poor visibility to Kai Tak Airport, killing all 33 on board. November 8, 1949. A Douglas C-47B X-Ray Tango-805 crashed in southern Yunnan Province, China. December 9, 1949, a Curtis C-46D X-Ray Tango-820 crashed near Lanzhou, killing all 38 on board. December 10, 1949, a Curtis C-46D X-Ray Tango-814 crashed at Haiku, killing 17 of 40 on board. November 29, 1952, a Douglas C-47 was shot down and crashed in Jilin Province, killing two of four crew on board. The aircraft was on a mission to pick up a secret agent in China. May 6, 1954, a Fairchild C-119C 49-0149 crashed near Ban Sok Laos, killing both pilots. The aircraft was delivering an artillery piece to French troops at Dien Bien Phu when it was struck by Viet Minh ground fire. One engine was lost to flak. While attempting to return to Haiphong, the left wing hit a hill and the aircraft crashed. October 10, 1954, Douglas C-47A B-811 crashed in the Gulf of Siam off Hua Hin, Thailand, killing six of seven on board. The aircraft was practicing paratroops when a wingtip dipped. June 20, 1964, Flight 106, a Curtis C-46, crashed near the village of Sheng Kang in western Taiwan, killing all 57 aboard. Among the dead were 20 Americans, one Briton, and members of the Malaysian delegation to the 11th Film Festival in Asia, including businessman Lok Wan Tho and his wife Mavis. February 16, 1968, Flight 010, a Boeing 727-92C, B-1018, flew from Hong Kong to Taipei. Coming in to land at Taipei Songshan Airport, the plane failed to capture an ILS signal from the airport, causing it to crash near Ling Kao. This resulted in the deaths of 21 out of 52 passengers and crew, and one person on the ground. Section 5. Fleet. Curtis C-46 Commando. Douglas C-47 Skytrain. Douglas DC-4. Douglas DC-6. Convair 880. Boeing 727. Section 6. Destinations. Kai Tak Airport. Naha Airport. Haneda Airport. Itami Airport. Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Gimpo International Airport, Songshan Airport, Tainan Airport, Taichung Shuinan Airport, Don Muyang International Airport. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 unported license, available at http colon forward slash forward slash creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by dash sa forward slash 3.0.